TypeScript support for Vue is getting even better. If you use define props in your Vue application, you probably ran into this problem, but with this new update, it's actually fixed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So Evan Yu tweeted out that SFC macros will finally support externally imported types and also add support some, some quite advanced types. So this is a really cool feature. It's actually gonna be out as of uh, beta of next week from this recording. But I thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek of what that means for your Vue applications and how you can use it today using Vue macros. Oh, and if you missed it, uh, last week I did a video on defined models. You can click on here and learn all about the new way you can use Vue model in your Vue 3 apps. Okay, so I have an application here. It's a brand new Vue 3 application and I created a new child component and it says, hello from child. So nothing too exciting there, but let's add a prop to it. So if we go back to my child and this is a TypeScript app, by the way, uh, we can add in a child by const props equals define props inside this, these brackets here, we can put in the type. So let's just do something super simple. We're going to add a value with type string. And then from here, I'm just going to do props dot value. And of course, in our app view, we'll need to fix this. Say, so you could see here, I have Volar installed and it's already given me a warning and I can say value equals, we'll just have a static text that says one, two, three. If we refresh it inside here, our app, you can see one, two, three is showing up kind of as we expect it. But if you can imagine, let's say this prop becomes pretty big. Let's say we have like five or six different things we're passing in and this type gets really complicated. Typically what you do in that in, in circumstance, especially if this is a interface or this is a type that you want to share between multiple different components, you probably want to extract this into its own file. So let's do that. I'm going to create a new file here and I'm just gonna call it types.ts. And inside here, I'm gonna export an interface for my child interface. I'm just gonna put that value string inside there. So now I have this new types file with this my child interface. Now, if I come back to my child, you think that you should be able to just import it into your uh, application here. So I'm gonna import in, and we're gonna do my child interface from and we know we have this types file. And then I should be able to just put it in between these, these brackets here, these angle brackets. So if I do my child interface and save it, uh-oh, I get an error. So you see type argument passed to define props must be a literal type or reference to an internal or literal type. So you can't actually extract out your types in your define props into separate files, which is something really common, especially in React and other frameworks, because it's really nice to have these things in one place instead of having them all over the place. So you're kind of left uh, stuck at this point. So, but what I can do right now, there is a view macros library that we can install to add this capability in. Now we know from Evan Yu, this is gonna actually gonna be in a the view 3.3 version later on. So we don't need to install this plugin, but I'll show you how to do that if you're interested in using and working with this today. Obviously I'm kind of stuck because I get this really bad air in the screen. So I'm going to come in here. I'm gonna install a few libraries. So if we go back to the this view macros, which by the way, if, if you remember reactivity transform that was taken out, it's now available in this library. But if you go into bundle integration, it kind of gives you a couple of steps. So first we're going to install unplugin view macros. Uh, they're also going to install this Volar support, which we need to do because we're using Volar. And then there's a, a few little configuration in here. So I'm going to go into my Vite file and I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I'm just going to copy this as well. So under plugins, I'm going to delete the plugin that's in there. And this view macros is going to be view macros .vite. That seems to work better for me. And if you're using JSX, it'd be Vue.jsx. It's basically the same thing. I'm just not using the slash there. And then I need to add this to my types. So I'm going to tsconfig file in my compiler option. I'm going to add this global macro for the types. Lastly, I'm going to add in this view compiler options. And this is going to be in my tsconfig as well. I'll just put it right under references and I'll make sure I put a comma at the bottom. And this actually adds all the different macros, even though we only need one. So I'm gonna run npm run dev. I'm still have this defined props here, go back in. Cool, so now it's working without any errors. So now I've been able to add this define props and actually what you can do is with that define props, you come down here to, for this better define, you, can, you can't do complex types is what I'm trying to say. So when Evan Yu's version comes out and viewed 3.3, you'll be able to do complex types. So that means things like 
uh, you can see here examples where you have like a, a string like this with an index signature. You will when this version comes out from MevU. And that brings me to another point. A lot of people have been talking about generics. So if you haven't heard, you can't, and this is a situation that comes up, especially when you have very interesting components, you might want to use uh, generics with it or TypeScript generics. And as of this recording, it has been added into Find Component, if that's the way you create your view applications. I don't think it's been added yet to Script Setup. If you if it has, leave a comment below. But I will do a separate video on generics and what that means with View 3.3 and how you can use that in your application. But I, this is just a really neat way of, of kind of capturing all your types in one place and then importing in. Let me know what you guys think.